Hey sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the computer slowly trying to learn how to recreate Shane's face and recreate Greg's face. It will become more clear as we go forward, but what it's doing is it's taking the shape of Greg's face and putting Shane Dawson's face on it. So obviously at the very beginning, it's not gonna be very good at it. It needs a lot of time to process. It needs iterations. Right now, it's only at 1,700 iterations. How many does it need? We maybe want like 100,000 or 200,000. What? I mean, I've taken like only a few thousand iterations just so we can see it tracked on. It's bad, but it gives us a sense of where it's going. So it's gonna be jank jank? It's gonna look really blurry because the computer hasn't done okay. a lot of training, but this is the very early. Okay, so oh my god. <laughs> So you can start to see his features yeah. appearing. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> now in the past, this kind of technology was reserved for high level experts or like visual effects artists, but now we've seen that even we, people who have never dealt with this before, have downloaded a free program and within hours have a good sense of how it works. Thankfully, there are now media forensic agencies developing that are creating softwares and their own technologies to tell if a video is real or fake, in particular ones that threaten national security. But already, deep fakes have been used to put people's faces into porn without their consent. And there's a genuine concern with how this technology could be used to blackmail people with fake video. Okay, the sun's going down. I've got a new thing going over here with Casey. And over here, we have Shane still working out. I'm gonna start a third one on my laptop, which isn't that powerful, but I'd rather just have a bunch going at once because it takes so long that I'd rather just a crappy computer be trying its best. <laughs> Do you think that this is how Michael Stevens starts his videos? Oh, on his knees. Probably, yeah. Right. Michael here, or Am I? We do all know that technology advances a lot faster than laws and regulations, so it's sort of the wild, wild west for this type of thing. In fact, Facebook said they're not gonna take deep fakes off of their platform, and it led to someone making a deep fake of Mark Zuckerberg saying what we're about to show you and putting it on Facebook to see what they would do. I wish I could keep telling you that our mission in life is connecting people, but it isn't. Spectre showed me how to manipulate you into sharing intimate data about yourself and all those you love for free. There's a lot of scary future scenarios where this technology is, ugh, we don't really know yet what it's gonna do, but in the meantime, it is kind of fun, so let's get back to the fun. Okay, you ready to see the deep fakes? The deep fakes are done, we're gonna watch them. We do have to admit we did more than 24 hours because we- We wanted to do set. we did seven. We did seven. Pretty easy to do, but the timing takes a while. Take your seats, grab your popcorn. <laughs> let's go watch it. Here they are. Last to leave their child at the side of the road goes to jail for seven years and wins $10,000 bail. Last to leave their child at the side of the road goes to jail for seven years and wins $10,000 bail. So you're watching me on that camera right there, then how is this camera right here? It's because I ran around Manhattan twice this morning before 6 a.m. and I got bored. So I'm moving to LA. So you're watching me on that camera right there, then how is this camera right here? It's because I ran around Manhattan twice this morning before 6 a.m. and I got bored. So I'm moving to LA. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Or am I? Some of you might be wondering when I go to a Subway sandwich and I get extra dressing if I ask for it to be V saucy. Yes. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Or am I? Some of you might be wondering when I go to a Subway sandwich and I get extra dressing if I ask for it to be V saucy. Yes. And as always, thanks for watching. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? Now, you know you cannot buy Jeffree Star. You see these doggy treats? Authentic Jaguar liver, $5,000 a pop. This Bic girl, this ain't no basic Bic. It's oil from the Nile. And this toilet paper, 5,000 ply. <laughs> now that's the tea, honey. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? Now, you know you cannot buy Jeffree Star. You see these doggy treats? 
authentic Jaguar liver, $5,000 a pop. This Bic girl, this ain't no basic Bic. It's oil from the Nile. And this toilet paper, 5,000 ply. <laughs> now that's the tea, honey. We are going to be meeting the ghost of Catherine of Braganzi, the woman who introduced the British to tea. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. <laughs> we are going to be meeting the ghost of Catherine of Braganzi, the woman who introduced the British to tea. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. <laughs> bro, I'm so disappointed, bro. I'm mad, bro. Yo, Jake. Jake, watch this, bro. You always got my back, bro. Think of this. You're my brother, bro. So you are my bro, bro. You see that, bro? Science, bro. Bro, 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 bro. 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 I'm so disappointed, bro. I'm mad, bro. Yo, Jake. Jake, watch this, bro. You always got my back, bro. Think of this. You're my brother, bro. So you are my bro, bro. You see that, bro? Science, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Okay. <laughs> I think the most interesting part was how fast we did that. We don't have the strongest computers, and so it's just interesting to think of what someone else could do with a lot more time. We hope you now have more of an understanding of how deep fakes are made so you're not left in the dark. Researchers have found that online hoaxes spread 10 times faster than accurate information, which sort of makes sense because as humans, we're hardwired to respond to extreme emotional information, which is easily made up and spread on social media. And the last thing we all can do is pressure major news media to show fake video beside original video so we can understand where those changes are being made. We do live in a world where we ourselves, you yourself, are in charge of making sure that the information that you are getting is trustworthy. We do kind of all have to be our own editors. And just because you're not a journalist doesn't mean you can't fight fake news or fight the misuse of deep fakes. We actually teamed up with the Canadian Journalism Foundation for this video with their important message that if you see information online and you're unsure about it, you should doubt it, check it, and challenge it. It's an election year here in Canada. There's gonna be one in America. If you're in a democracy, they're gonna be happening all over the world. <laughs> Those are important times for you to be thinking about this message. Thanks again to the Canadian Journalism Foundation for supporting this video and helping us with lots of different resources. Resources. And thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and all that. <laughs> we will see you next time for another science video. Peace. See ya.